Welcome back people to what is now part number 28 of the Fire Red Omega Nuzlocke. We're just chilling out in Saffron City here with Psycho Enigma. Uh, now, I haven't done anything off screen, uh, but I have decided we're going to do the gym this episode. But we're also going to do the uh, fighting dojo, which we haven't done before because we couldn't. You know, so uh, we got the tire rope from that man there. If I could walk around. No, not that gym. This gym. And I figure it will be a good training ground for some Harold Twitch training. And some Zoe and Kenneth leveling. Whatever. Anyway. Well, your toilet's buzzing in our fighting dojo. I don't know what kind of accent that was. But anyway. Uh, we'll, we'll just do these battles at like a normal sort of speed, I think. Actually, no. They're a... Oh, God. They're, they're like nothing. In which case, no. We're super speeding. I thought they were going to be like gym leader sort of level, like 50 or something, but uh, clearly not. Yeah, let's just have Harold wipe. Oh no, Harold, you didn't kill him in one thunder punch. And he hit you five times with fury swipes. You, sir, are letting me down. Good Harold training, though, this is going to be. It's just. It's just going to be insane. And I need to get rid of Flash off Harold's moveset, thinking I was going to need it, and then I didn't. Oh, hey, Harry Armour. Mr. Lord of Bulk, apart from when you get a Harold wiping you out. Oh yeah, Harold's now got a Miracle Seed, and I did also get a Charcoal for Jane. But we're not going to use the Charcoal, because I plan on using the move Thief a lot in the gym, especially on the gym leader. Stealing all the special attack raising berries, which would be quite nice. Uh, meditate. Take you down with a Thunder Punch, probably. And Combuskin. Ugh, Combuskin. Um, ah, they can't kill me. He can sand attack me though. Uh, Thunder Punch! Dead. Yeah. How doing well. And Medicham shouldn't be an issue for a Leaf Blade. If, of course, we hit. There we go. That should be done. Yeah. Sweet. Right. Now we move on to this dude. Grunt. I am the Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Accept no mercy. Fwaaa! So, anyway, Mr. Karate Man. Shouldn't be in challenge whatsoever, because I said so. He has a Hitmonlee at level 39, and we have a Harold at level 48. So the Leaf Blade will probably kill. Hitmonlee's not known for fantastic defense. Yeah, oh crit. The crit allowed me to uber kill. And Hitmonchan. So the Hitmonchan with his punching. Even if he has the elemental punches, I'm not that worried because they're based off special attack in this generation. And, uh, yeah. Thunder Punch. You see, wouldn't you rather go for Ice Punch? <laughs> nah. <laughs> 4 HP. And Slam. Right. Who wants to bet 50 million pounds or around about 89 million US dollars in that retrospect that his final Pokemon's going to be a hit on top? Because I am. No, oh, what do you know? I am rich fag now. Anyway, hit him on top. The most balanced of the uh, of the three, and he's got the intimidate to lower my attack. Unfortunately for you, hit him on top. I'm a special attacker, and I'm Mo with a thunder punch. A s well, thunder punch and leaf blade, a special attack. Slam is like regular attack, but we don't use slam here. We thunder punch. Wabwam! And with that, the fighting master, or the karate master, should I say? has been defeated. Hwa! Arg! Beaten. Done. Job is a good one. Right, and now we get to pick between one of these two Pokemon. Indeed, I have lost, but I have beseech you. You do, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I'll give you a prized fighting type Pokemon. Choose which you'd like. So anyway, we get to choose between Hitmon Lee and Hitmon Chan. And I, uh... Normally I go for Hitmonchan, no reason why. So today I'm going to go for Hitmon Lee. So we'll take Hitmon Lee, just because why not. And we're going to give him a name. And I've got the name for him. We're calling this Hitmon Lee Sheamus. He can be Sheamus. Because Sheamus is a cool name. And purely because of the reason of, as said before, wrestling fan. And uh, there's a guy, Seamus, and his finishing move is just this bejeebus kick. So Hitmon Lee, Seamus, same sort of deal, yo. Moving on swiftly from that, 
Let's go to the PC box, shall we? And let's move our newly acquired Seamus. What level are you? You're level 30, and you have a black belt? That's quite a cool new addition. Careful nature. I, I, I forget what the natures do. But I know that's monstrous attack for level 30. That's quite impressive. Jump kick, brick break, and high jump kick. I need to check. How much does high jump kick do in this gen? I want to say it's 90. D -d -d Go away, Denzel. You're no! <laughs> Game failing me. Right. High jump kick has a power of 85 and an accuracy of 90. See, that's where Pokemon Black and White and Black and White 2 come into their own. High jump kick has a base power of 130. Oh, yeah, healing. I knew I was here for something. Other than showing off uh, Sheamus. Right. Gym time. Gym time, gym time, gym time. Yeah. And uh, it's all going to be fairly simple. Mm, these three. Jane. Actually, no, not even these three. These two. In uh, Jane and Kenneth. That's the sort of deal, and I'm just going to be anal and uh, sort out my team. Right, there we go. Off to the gym. And if we didn't have enough fun with warp panels in the uh, the Slift building, or the Sylph building, I always get that mixed up, guess what we get to have fun with this time? Yay, warp panels! Goddamn hate warp panels. Anyway. Fighting type Pokemon destroyed. Can't even name a punch. Blah, 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 blah. Lord Dot S has won here. Damn Lord Dot S stealing all my thunder, yo. And normally I try not to battle these guys in the gym because they're quite irritating with their psychic Pokemon and stuff. But, you know, I just figured that, why not? Actually, and you know what? I'm going to get Harold some training because we might see a lot of slow bros and slow kings around here. So, it might be worth getting Harold a wee bit of training just to, like, make sure that he's there as a backup in the gym. Slow poke. We we'll use Thunder Punch on Slow Poke. It's not stabbed, but it should KO. Yeah. So, new plan for team order. Don't know why I'd set it up the way I did. Uh, so we'll, we'll get J uh, get Harold to 50, and then we'll just go from there. Then this is just complete guesstimation with all the uh, the warp pads. I'm not going to pay attention. I know I've whinged before about people that speed through, but. Yeah, this is just going to need to be done, because otherwise we will be here for days, literally. And as as much as I like uploading longer videos, you guys would get bored with like a 70 minute long, or 70 hour long episode, I don't know. Anyway, the, the spoink not going down to the older, to the bite from Kenneth, shows that Kenneth needs to become stronger. Magic is a move I've never understood, I know what mirror move does, or whatever, but... I don't know. Curlier. Yeah, expect to see God of War in the gym battle. In like the, the leader battle, should I say. And this is just rude. Wake up, Kenneth. Goodbye. You, sir, have not let me down. Uh, anyway, you. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's just, let's just run over different warp panels and hope for the best. That's normally my plan. Mr. Mime's a special defensive monster, but not when he gets critical hit. Amuse me slightly. Slam on this Grumpig. Let's see how much it does. Not much. But we'll keep hitting it anyway. Why are you just using Magic Coat? What does it even do? Someone please comment in the comment section below about what Magic Coat does. Because I actually have no idea. Anyway. We're going to take on this woman and her Mistrievous. Which is far from a Psychic type Pokemon. And it's still going to go down to Harold's Leaf Blade. Uh, this warp pad. Battle you... I don't know, it's just, I hate the way this works out, this gym, because I can never remember the route. Ah! Ah! That's not cool, yo! That's quite rude. Anyway, Harold's level 50. Bad you smooch him. Hello, Mr. Smoochum, or Mrs. Smoochum. I remember Lord Dotes having you, and I beat you many a time. Five special attack on Kenneth, my god. Hey, Haunter, you should be a Gengar by now. I wonder if that's going to be Sabrina's surprise Pokemon, a Gengar. Because it wouldn't surprise me. Because they always have a surprise in the gym battle. Always. I forgot to heal up Harold. Right, I'm going to do that after this battle. Uh, Jane's Bite, super effective. And Thief, why not? Right. 
Uh, where are we? Hyper potions. We have loads of hyper potions, so I haven't got any worry about anything really. Um, uh, this one? No, wait, we've gone that way. This one? No, wait! I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Wait, we haven't been here. Right, and I get the feeling this could be an important one. Ah, Mr. Shed Ninja. Wait. I was thinking, do I have anything super effective against the Shed Ninja? And I do. I have Jane, the perfect counter for Shed Ninja. And Dusclops. Bite. Dusclops is so specially defensively bulky. I'm not surprised we didn't take it out. Not surprised in the slightest. Right. Let's just put Jane up front, because Jane will be the main gym person. And obviously she'll gain battles in the gym battle, but still. Uh, have we been here? Yes, we have. Nope, we've been to these locations. Oh, really? Oh, damn it! This is really going well. Uh, you. Right, you. You. Um, I'm going to stop speeding this up, otherwise this is going to drive me mad. This is just the, the prime opportunity for me to be talking about something, but instead I'm going to be raging. Right, this warp panel. There, I totally knew it was that one. Anyway, um, hyper potions. One on Jane. Yeah, that, how are we looking for PP on moves? Uh, it's Bite is really the main move we're going to use. Bite's got 18. Bite on Kenneth, 17. I think if we throw Kenneth out to begin with, because Kenneth can obviously absorb the psychic attacks and Jane will then be able to just repel them all together. But anyway. I had a vision of your arrival. I have had psychic power since I was a child. It started when a, when a spoon I carelessly tossed bent. I dislike battling, but if you wish, I'll show you my powers. And the sixth gym battle of the Kanto region of Enigma's Fire Red Omega Nuzlocke Run is underway. Leader Sabrina would like to battle. And she'll start off with a Mr. Mime level 50, so I'm not that under leveled. Her ace is probably going to be about, what, 53? Something like that. Going to go for the bite with Kenneth. Doing pretty much exactly half. Carmine will raise special defense, which isn't good. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll just swift. And that will get him into... Ah, no, I did more damage with that than I was expecting. Anyway, the bite will hopefully take him out. No, she's got the full... Uh, Moomoo Milk. Not full restore, Moomoo Milk. Mr. Mime has less than 100 HP. I suppose he's not known for his HP, but... Oh, critical hit. And of course... Critical hits just ignore all stat changes, so that was brilliantly timed, Kenneth. Uh, God of War, right. God of War's a strong Pokemon. Very strong. So, with that, I think we're going to bring Jane into this one. Get the type advantage. Stab. Joint on levels on 51. I get the feeling God of War might have an item, so I'm going to Thief here. Thief, only 40 base power, but it means I've stolen an item. If there is one, there was what I get. Miracle Seed? Why do you have a Miracle Seed? What? Unless you have, like, Magical Leaf, just in case I was using a water type. They, they have trolled me. I have been trolled. And now the wish is going to come true and just going to, like, gain some health. I don't know how much. Enough to survive a bite, is what I'm going to say. Actually, no, it might be quite close. Ah, oh, no, survived it. Stop wishing! He's like, I wish upon a star that I will survive! And I'm like, No, you will burn in a furious curse, be burning rage! Ah! Jane taking down God of War. Right, Espeon. And I'm not going to have Espeon versus Espeon because I know how strong these mofos are. Ha! Take that badly timed wish. Anyway, thief. Let's try and see if Espeon has an item. No, it doesn't. This displeases me greatly. 
It's going to pull off the Calm Mind. Actually, we're going to get the Calm Mind TM after this, which I will definitely give to Espeon. Definitely. Or rather, should I say Kenneth? Because the Calm Mind will just... I'll be able to set up and one-hit KO everything for days. Your defense has been raised. Fine by me. Special type move in this, bruh. Hyper Potion from Sabrina. I'd very much appreciate a critical hit here, Jane. Much like uh, Kenneth got... No, what's, what's this all about? Bite. We're going to run out of bites. And if we run out of bites, that's bad. Although the flinch hacks is nice. Uh, Flamethrower will hopefully finish it here. Endure failed! Flamethrower. Come on, finish him. Finish him, finish him, finish him, finish him. Finish him! Good fatality! I don't know why I just went to throw that reference in. I just did. Right, Gengar. I knew she'd have a Gengar. I knew she would have a Gengar. And I was going to switch into Kenneth then. And then as soon as I built up the screen, I was like, hang on a minute. Why am I doing that? Gengar is a sh like a ghost type Pokemon. I feel like a fool. Oh, nausea hypnosis. Why is it in practically every gym battle we get put? to sleep and burr and I was gonna use thief on your next turn any special attack rose flamethrower full restore so she's got moomoo milk hyper potion and full restore she'll just go through them I suppose that's better than just having full restores I guess I don't know come on Jane wakey wakey we have a Gengar to beat here oh it's a sub Gengar is it that's just unnecessary, and Jane wakes up. The bite will break the sub. And what was the Gengar going to go for? Ice Punch. What? But I'm a... a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. You would think that, that they were going to be a bit more intelligent, and why are you surviving? Oh my god. Gengar? I hate you. You're reminding me of one of my friends, Gengars. It was just this biggest hypnosis, dreamy troll, and it was large. Oh, hypnosis would never miss for him. Right. You will burn. Crispy fried Gengar at the ready. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Yeah. Down. Right. Jinx. Excellent. More proof to display Jane's power that Jinx will suck in comparison to a Houndoom. Obviously we know it will because of the type advantages Houndoom has, but it shows that Lord Dotes was just not ready and if he, own, he owns a Houndoom, and why have I been put to sleep again? Ah! Rage! I haven't raged this hard since the Brock battle. The trucking Brock battle back in like the first gym. Blizzard? What? This is gonna hurt probably. Hurt more than I was anticipating and a crit will, will KO me. A crit will just KO me from that range and I'm not willing to take that risk. Where's me hyper potions? Sorry. Let's get Jane back to full health. I swear to God, Jinx, you're a troll. Is this because of the Nicki Minaj jokes in the last episode? Because it probably is, and you, it is. It's just, it's too apparent, and the world can see it. Right, Blizzard, do not do too much damage. Don't crit. Do not crit. Thank you. I was waiting to be frozen then, just to see this troll face JPEG appear in the Jinx's face. Just I'd been the rage. Well, I'd have needed to buy a new mic. I'm pretty sure my amount of rage would have eviscerated everything looking in front of me, which is actually my wall, my uh, my laptop, my desk, my mic, an Avenged Sevenfold T-shirt. Anyway, off of stuff that I was going to eviscerate, bringing out the Ace here in her Alakazam. Level 53 as predicted with Thunder Punch. Oh god, that's based off his special attack. Oh, that's not too bad. And the bite. Uh, the bite's not KOing. Uh, bite again. Thunder Punch shouldn't be a KO. 
Come on, yes, good job, Jane. Very good job. <laughs> it was like a half sweep from Jane here. Just so impressive. I love Houndoom. This loss shocks me, but a loss is a loss. I admit, I didn't work hard enough to win. Your victory has earned you the Marsh Badge. And 5,300 pocket dollars. We got that dollar, dollar, dollar is what we need. <laughs> the Marsh Badge makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey you. Stronger Pokemon will become wild, ignoring your orders in battle. Just don't raise your Pokemon too much to avoid that problem. Wait, please, take this TM with you. And we got TM04, which, as I said previously, is Calm Mind. And it's just, she doesn't tell you what it is. You have to go find out for yourself. And I've just remembered... We don't need to find our own way out of here. I'm so glad they rectified that in uh, later battles with warp pads so you could just get an easy way out. Um, yeah, you know I said we might be here a while. That's just going to be me trying to get out of the gym. I'm pretty sure. Right, no. Yes, I made it. And just to see our accomplishment. Yeah, we're there. We're there, baby. Anyway. That's done. Thank God. So, it's just deciding what I want to do next episode now. Obviously, we're going to heal up our Pokemans here. Um, Now, next episode, I could do one of two things. I could go south of Fuchsia City, and we could surf along there and take on some weak trainers, And because I just like showing trainers on screen. It, like, it buffers it out, I suppose. It's like a filler episode. I, I don't know. Um, or we could head straight to Cinnabar and rush through the game, albeit I don't think I'm ready for Cinnabar yet. I don't know. I, uh, I haven't personally decided yet. But anyway, I would uh, I would like to thank you very much for watching. Um, you know, it's just been a pleasure this episode, taking down two 1.75 gym leaders, maybe? I don't know. Uh, but we got a new Pokemon in Sheamus. And, uh, yeah, we took down Sabrina and the Karate Master. So, uh, we'll see what we do in the next episode. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, I would like to thank you all very much for watching.